Hello and welcome. This is Ageless John. I've just opened the project and I wanted to show you around a bit. Mostly today we're going to be dealing with uh, the toolbar and a few other odds and ends that I wanted to discuss during this tutorial. If you look down here at the bottom of tutorial, you'll see this thing, Gradle Build Finished. You might ask yourself, what is Gradle? It seems to be a, an unusual term. Well, I ask myself that very same question, and uh, the answer is I have no idea. Uh, Gradle, the technical definition, it's a uh, project automation tool, and it's built on the concepts of something called Apache Ant and Apache Maven, uh, and it introduces what's called a Groovy-based domain-specific language, or a DSL, uh, instead of using the more uh, traditional XML form of declaring um, project configurations. So that's what Gradle is. So yeah, uh, it's the magic fairies that build stuff in the background. That's what I've decided to call it. All right, now these little buttons here across the top, this far right one here that's not the question mark, the little iconic green robot I might you might call it, is called uh, the Android Device Monitor. What it is is basically it's a tool uh, that gives you a graphic or uh, graphical user interface um, for s several uh, built-in debugging and analysis tools. Uh, it, it's automatically installed, um, and that's why it, that button is there. The next icon is the SDK Manager. Now, the SDK Manager, uh, when you open it up, you'll see it, it splits it into different sections like tools and platforms and other components uh, for ease of management. And uh, one of the things that you need to know about this uh, is it's not set up by default uh, to check for updates. Uh, in order to get that to work, you need to go over here to File, click on it, Settings, Appearance and Behavior, System Settings, and Updates. Now you need to check next to the autom Automatically Check Updates for Android SDK checkbox, and then select an update channel. Uh, then you click OK or Apply to enable the updating uh, to work. And that's how you do automatic updating with the SDK Manager. This next icon is the AVD Manager. The AVD Manager uh, has is a graphical user interface uh, which you use to manage your different Android virtual devices. Um, and these are what, you're, what you need in order to uh, use the Android emulator which we will talk about this later on in one of the other tutorials and I will actually teach uh, you how to create a customized um, Android virtual device for uh, your needs. Now this next button, Sync Project with Gradle Files, really I don't have the depth of understanding to even begin to explain what this does. What it does from what my understanding is if you're messing around with the Maven repository or uh, from uh, some other local files uh, and adding more dependencies you need to use the sync project with Gradle files uh, when you're doing that. Um, this has some sort of default task that, that it will go that, that will trigger and uh, that was, it's configured within your project and this is something that you do if you're working with Gradle files um, which we will not be doing in this tutorial. All right, this next icon here, the Project Structure button, opens the Project Structure Management uh, Toolbox. Uh, and you'll see that there's several different uh, things within the, uh, this dialog box. Uh, there's the SDK location, uh, projects that set up different versions for Gradle, which we won't be doing. Uh, there's a Developer Services, uh, which has settings for different things like uh, add-ins and components for Google or third-party uh, uh, things uh, which we may mess with uh, depending on whether or not uh, you install in, uh, the Guinea Motion and we'll definitely uh, be involved with uh, this when we you eventually get into uh, installing uh, the version controls uh, help that we're going to need well, much much later on in the tutorial uh, and also deals with uh, the modules and things of that nature so this is very technical and uh, there really isn't going to be any everyday use uh, for this particular button. So it can largely be ignored until you uh, actually have a, a real need for it. 
And of course, the little wrench with the, what appears to be a nut is for your settings, uh, different uh, things like appearance, behavior, your key mapping information, and all the tools and editor plugins and things of that nature can be found in your settings. This button, the attach the debugger to a running process, this allows you to uh, debug something while it's still open and running so you don't have to restart it uh, your app to debug it. Uh, this next button, uh, the run app with coverage is grayed out because it's right now it's disabled and you only use this um, basically after you've done like unit testing um, so we're not actually going to be using this button in the tutorial. This next button will run your app when you press it. Uh, this little hang right here is uh, got several different configuration uh, possibilities in it. We will not be uh, messing with this uh, with this tutorial, I don't believe. This right here, this make project button, does exactly that. It makes your project. Uh, so when you want to build and make your project, you press this button. The rest of the buttons are pretty standard buttons. Uh, they're like going from page to page, you know, uh, re undoing, cut and paste, things of that nature, save and file. So I'm not going to go through those. Um, I'm fairly certain everyone's going to be uh, relatively familiar with what all those buttons do because uh, they're pretty standard for almost every program out there. So a couple of other things I'd like to talk about are left gutter and right gutter. I think this is best illustrated by clicking on this tab down here, text. Uh, and if you hover over here, this right here is the left gutter. If you right click on it, you can. Uh, I, I actually like to show line numbers. Uh, that's your, your left gutter. And then you will also see here if you use any uh, code breaks, uh, they will also show up in the left gutter. The right hand side is used mostly for uh, validation and marking indicators. Like if I put a thing here, you notice this disappears that's an indication that there's a problem and then that, that this is where that will show up here on the right gutter again thank you for joining me this has been another tutorial by ageless john please subscribe and thumbs up and i'll see you next time